Okay. Oh crap. Oh, look at that. He's right there, just ready to murder you. Now this guy, the 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 giant flying torso, it became a ratchet staple after a while, didn't he? That's yes, that's right. I remember uh, a lot. I, I there was a I did a level in the next one, I think, that had the giant flying torso. And I think and his I, his name was actually Giant Flying Torso. Yeah, I think that was at the point where Colin was giving up at being <laughs> clever. Yeah, almost certain. Let's see what he was called in this one. Megacorp Robot Guard. Yeah, even that's not a very inspired name. He's not an incredibly inspired enemy, but he is kind of a... At some point, Colin just gave up at trying to be clever with them. And he's like, this guy is a big torso and he shoots bullets at you. That's the design. <laughs> Go. Why is Billy sad? Why is Billy sad? This is one of my favorite cutscenes ever. <laughs> oh, I think this is the setup for another one of my uh, most favorite levels. Yes, this, the one with uh, with the Insomniac Museum hidden in it. That's right. Where where you synced all the clocks to be real time and. <sighs> that's a that's a story in and of itself. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one. So there, believe it or not, that is not the entirety of this level. There is an entire other segment that we need to go through. What's our other segment? It's a inspector bot uh, levitator. Oh, yeah. The return of the inspector bot. Oh man, he makes a brief appearance in here. All right, so we we gotta switch to the tractor beam. Which we haven't used in weeks. Oh, yeah, so I decided for this level that the tractor beam wasn't lame and confusing enough. <laughs> that we needed to have you disrupt force fields with it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. This is this is the reason why the level was so far behind, because Lingish had to do this crazy shit. How did that effect get built to make that happen? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> uh... I didn't have much to do. Ooh, look, a sheep. Um, oh, you've I, killed it. Yeah, why not? Uh, I didn't have much to do with the creation of this, but I think I think what he did is is the size of the top strip up there. Uh, yeah. Oh, of course it hurts you. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to hit myself in the face. So the size of this top strip is the size, like there's just two strips on top of each other. And then when you block when you block it with the uh, the gadget, yeah, but it slides. So that's an. I, I'm. I'm curious to see how that was set up, but that's very cool. I like that. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Piece of uh, graphics technology there. And there's an inspector bot. So for this one, if I what's he inspecting exactly? When you were creating the inspector bot, what what was he meant to be in here inspecting? In here, I don't know. But when I made him for level two, he was supposed to be inspecting. Uh, you know, the the facility. His little clipboard. I mean, for Christ's sake. So. Man, that is a when those effects are layered like that, it's confusing to tell depth. What? what? No. Was... No. <laughs> no. Tony, that's not right. Is this actually how you're supposed to solve? Oh, this is for a secret. I was about to say, if that's actually how you're supposed to solve the puzzle. <laughs> yeah, that would be a little mean, wouldn't it? Hang on. All right, let me get the inspector bot over here first so that I don't have to go do that again. No, no, fuck. <laughs> uh, not not my best work, I, I have to say. Why are the sheeps all around here? I don't know. Uh, I think since there weren't any enemies in this segment... We put you just the want sheep to give just him something to hit. Yeah, just so you could whack something. Uh, and we the sheep were already included in every level. This level was really hard hit by memory. Uh, so in this level, we were just trying to include anything we could that was free. And since the, since you have the sheepinator, the sheep are already included in the memory for every level. Right. So uh, you know, since we had them for free, I was just like, let's put some sheep in here because we need something to something to spice it up. What? Another little segment? I'm a madman. Wait, so what's behind the door? Um, you know, oh, by the way, uh, 
Oh, you mean behind that door? Yeah, the one that you opened up with the inspector bot. The rest of the segment. I think there's just platinum bolts up here. Uh, you know, now that I'm thinking about it and remembering it, I didn't do the initial paper map for this level. Uh, this this was a level someone else designed. I forget who. I think it was Brian Algar. And I inherited it, responsibility for it. Uh, once it once it was sort of out of... Uh, uh, out of scope, you know, like after it was running out of time. So I, I, uh, this was sort of my chance to prove myself. Captain Quark, completing quality control on super electro. Wow, oh, the like fanboy. Power detecting no this, oh, he sells you the bolt magnetizer. Yes. But you don't have any money. You can't buy this. I hope he doesn't sell it to me. That's funny, a nerdy little game making fun of nerds. <laughs> So I guess he's like a Captain Quark groupie. Yeah, he's a fan. The fanboy, as you said, yeah. That's right. And we had to make this guy and this cutscene just for this little optional segment, man. This is <laughs> like this is the kind of extravagance. Oh, I have to bring him a Captain Quark collectible. Uh, do you remember where that is? Not a clue. Not at all. Wow. Okay. Oh, but there was a platinum bolt, but no cutscene. Why isn't there a platinum bolt cutscene? I probably didn't wire it up right. That was my fault. Let's just say it's my fault. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, uh, oh, oh, that was close. That was not my intention. Let's just put it that way. All right. Activate elevator. So there's more to this crazy tractor beam segment. Uh, you have to drag the rockets around. Do you remember? No, I so, do not. Uh, because it wasn't confusing enough with the stupid force fields and all the rest of that, I thought, let's just make this even more complicated. Because, you know, complicated means good gameplay, right? Right. So let's have these little things that we have to drag around in these little, uh, you know, ruts here. And, uh, you know, when you get them in the right place, they blow up the uh, the doors, right? Okay. Now, originally what was supposed to happen is the rocket was supposed to shoot up and take the door with it, and it was crazy, right? But way out of – this level was so far out of scope, and part of it was because of features like that. That You know, I, I was new. This was the first game I've ever made. So I had no idea that stuff like that was so expensive, you know? So right. a lot of the calls that I made, I think, were part of the reason this was so badly out of scope. So why was it on the track and not just a free... Not, why wasn't it just out in the room uh, you'll and then you just take it to the pad? You'll see that in a, uh, in a few seconds. The, uh, there's some later where you have to like pull some into side tracks. And, uh, uh, you know, like... It, it, it's the only tractor beam gameplay in this entire game that, that layers well. <laughs> I see. So, like, you actually can ramp it and do some crazy stuff with it. But, uh, um, you know, it's only used in this level. Uh, I think I probably, if I had to pick one of one tractor beam mechanic to, to save and the rest to go away, it would be these dragging these uh, containers around with, uh, uh, with the rockets in them. Notice that none of these containers were present in in the the other, even though this is what we trained you on. Uh -huh. uh, we did not have any of these containers in the first level where you use it, because you know why do that? <laughs> let's let's instead make a make a separate inspector bot character and you know just make gameplay that nobody will ever understand. Oh, you recognize this platform? That looks like the electrolyzer platform. Yeah, that is. It's because it's free. <laughs> it's just a scaled up version of the electrolyzer platform. So yeah, see, in here, you got to do some lateral thinking. Because this big one won't fit in that little slot. And that little one won't fit. Well, I guess it will fit, but. <laughs> but you got to get them both, Tony. See? See, lateral thinking. So what was it like to watch the focus testers handle this particular puzzle as opposed to the other uh, track team puzzle? Was it more or less painful? Um, more painful. Really? Um, but only because when this went to focus test, 
uh, a lot of the theatrics associated with this weren't ready yet. Oh, God. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I'm just going to put the tractor beam up here. Um, so, like, uh, you know, little things like the, the, the pieces locking into place when you had them in the right spot. Uh, you know, important stuff that feed feedback that the player needs in order to actually do that. This is bullshit, by the way. <laughs> so ch check out what you have to do here. Oh, God. I'm so angry at me. Uh, oh, and I failed. Yeah, you're dead. Wow, that, that is brutal. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Because, you know, I thought that would be great. So you can't even, like... Oh, yeah, you have to wait. You don't even get to go on your first go. Oh, yeah. And it's, you have it is to a, wait for it to come back. It is a tiny window of opportunity. Ah. Oh. <laughs> See, this isn't like uh, this isn't like when your levels happen, Tony. It's you know I just am continually angry with myself for the things that I did. Oh man. Uh, seriously, I would fire me. <laughs> there you go. You got it. You got it. You got this one. This one's done. This one's happening. There and of you go. And of course I put enemies at the end of this, because why not? Oh, man. You know, that's why the sheep were in there. The sheep were there... Because by the t you just want to murder something by the time you're done with these freaking puzzles. <laughs> oh god. Okay, yeah. So see, see now how it ramped up. Right. It's clever. You gotta like take these and put them in this middle one, and then slide this one over here. You see? I see. It's gameplay. <laughs> You know, and I don't think I started off designing the tractor beam either. I think I also inherited that gadget and then just sort of wanted to go crazy with it. Because it's sort of like how you, with a lot of the stuff you were on the hook for, you just wanted it to be the highest level of quality possible. And I think at this point, we didn't know anything about diminishing returns because we're so new. Uh -huh. So we just tried to put as many features as we could into the game just to, to make our sections extra special because we were so passionate and so well, i wouldn't say that about my work i mean uh i just for me it was a different situation as i didn't have time to do anything that was my biggest problem with working on this game is learning effective time management and where 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 it makes sense to actually put your time was the biggest problem for me yeah i would say me too because uh like sort of what i'm getting at with that is uh you know, these things are great, sure, but are there other things that could have been done that would have been more cost effective, you know, and would have uh, meant that we got the same sort of bang for our buck? Probably. Possibly. But, it, you know, our, our passion sort of helped out, I think. It, it meant that, you know, there a lot of these little details got in that probably otherwise wouldn't have. So at least, you know, it's not all bad. Oh, there you I, go. I that's why the hands. sheep are here. Oh, because you got the sheepinator. You get the sheepinator. So all those sheep you've been murdering have actually been innocent people that have been tested on. And you're a murderer. Oh, that's a, dark. A, a cold-hearted murderer. That's really dark. I don't know if I can handle this. And yes, this ambush was deliberate so that you'd have a place to use the uh, the sheepinator. Because one of the rules of Ratchet and Clank is you thou shalt not give them something and then not give them a place to use it. Is that the end? Are we done? We are done, finally. Overall, not a terrible level. Not my best work, though. Certainly, uh, cer I got better. Let's put it that way. I got better. <laughs> I got better at making games than I was in this game. So, uh, yes, for uh, developer commentary, I'm Mike Stout. I'm Tony Garcia. And we'll see you later.